Hey everyone. Hopefully I'm live. Let's just have a look. Just one minute, give it a few minutes until others join. Hope you're all having a great night tonight. It's Wednesday night, wellness night. <laughs> Who's on? Hey, F. Hey, sis. Glad you came on. Oh, my goodness. We'll just wait a few more minutes. Nikki. Hey, Nick. Hey, Connie. Just pop in the, in the comments below. Say hi. Where are you from? Uh, I think you're all, anyway, I know where you're from anyway. Um, so thanks for joining me tonight. Um, I'm really coming tonight to show you, it's, it's my first series of um, our Makeup Masterclass. So um, over the next um, five, five weeks through June and early July, I'm going to be running these makeup classes. Um, so if there's anything you want me to go through over the time, let me know, put them in your in the comments and see, you know, what tips and tricks you'd, you'd like to, to um, have me uh, prepare for you. Um, so really tonight, we're just going to go through um, a, a day look that you can take to the office or when you're going out with your girlfriends. Um, yeah, so just a really nice natural day look. All right, so you probably look thinking, what has she got on her eyes? Um, there, because I was, I'm a bit tired, um, I'm starting to use my gel masks and they're just, they've got all the RE9 formula, vitamin C, to really reduce the um, dark circles under my eyes. So I'm really just, you know, preparing my skin. So I think they're ready to go. Beautiful. Um, so... Beautiful. So what we'll start with tonight is um, with your, your skin, before you start to put your makeup, you really want to um, have it prepared. Yeah. So you want to really just remove all the makeup that is sitting on your skin. And this will help um, the, the actual makeup attached to your skin. So you want to have a really nice um, clean canvas to work with. Okay, so you just go ahead and, and clean your your skin, make sure all the oils are off as well. Okay, and you're ready to go. And the second step is um, you'd want to moisturize because that will also help your skin um, be supple and um, ready to take on that makeup. And it also will, will help it um, stick as well. So we'll just go ahead and put, I love using my serum. So I will put a dab of my serum all over my skin just like that. How's everyone going? How's everyone tonight? Yeah, getting ready for my birthday. <laughs> That's next week. I can't believe it already. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Where has this year gone? Seriously. Um, so the next thing you'd want to do is moisturize. Now, there's some misconception about you know oily skin and, and moisturizing. You have to moisturize, whether you have oily skin or not. That will protect your skin from the environment, um, and it just locks in the hyd the hydration in in your skin. Yeah, so you have to make sure you apply a really good moisturizer. Now I'm using the RE9. I've always used the RE9, and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's done amazing for my skin. Um, so there you are. You're ready to go with your, your makeup now. Now, how many of you use your um, primer? Yeah? Pop, pop in the comments if you use primer. Please use primer. It, it's there to really blur any lines that you have, block the pores, to, keep, to make it a smooth finish. Yeah, so please try your, your primers. 
your your makeup will look floor, flawless when you do use it okay now particularly our primer is amazing um, it's almost like silk on your skin um, they've got these amazing botanicals in it now let me just refer to my notes um, it's got horolonic spheres um, to smooth the skin so it's got really key botanicals and what you do you just apply that all over your skin and it just slides glides on yeah and just making note under your eyes and just be careful that you don't stretch or pull under your eyes because your skin under your eyes is really really thin and sensitive yeah so you just have to be really careful around that area okay so you just pop it on okay so that's my skin primed now i'm ready to conceal how many of you conceal um yeah always use my primer thing yeah that's it tina yeah yeah oh thanks shivani <laughs> oh my goodness um okay so so concealer concealer is really used to remove any redness any blotches in your skin as we age we get you know sunspots and um you know redness so you'd want to really remove and camouflage your, the redness in your skin so and normally um what you do with your concealer it should be two times lighter than your skin tone that's the guideline yeah um so here i'm going to use my light in in our concealer and it's just beautifully and creamy um, and really really hydrating as well i just got to tell you these products they're so hydrating and breathable it, it's it's almost anti-aging makeup i'm serious um that's how it makes you feel because it doesn't feel clumpy or or cakey or anything like that so so you just grab your concealer and you just go around all of the redness yeah around your nose around your cheeks oops around your nose there and you really just want to camouflage the redness and what i like to do is take my little blending brush and just dab it yeah you don't want to be pulling it because you're actually removing the product when you actually pull and and try and smudge the concealer so just continue to dab it just to remove the redness How are we going tonight, guys? Isn't it cold here in Melbourne? Oh my goodness. Oops, I forgot to put some on my chin. One second. See, automatically you've seen, you can just see that redness disappear. Just press it down so you can actually adhere to your skin. Beautiful. All right, so that's the concealer. Now what we'd like to do is um, put the foundation. So I love our foundation. Where is my foundation? Now I was going to show you the CC cream, but I think I showed you that last time. I really wanna go through showing you our perfect, perfecting liquid foundation. This ladies is the bomb. Honestly, this will give you like an airbrushed look. I absolutely love this and it's so moisturizing and hydrating um, and you don't need too much either. Um, so you just put one pump to start with and I do like to use my brush with this. Um, so you just dab it just like that and you just start to apply it onto your skin. Now usually your you have to check your um, your foundation and you have to make sure that you you match it properly and your foundation will change 
based on your season. So in summertime, it might you might need a little bit darker, and in wintertime, you, you might need your, your normal color. And the way to color match is you look at your collar, yeah? Because normally your skin or your face tends to be a bit lighter because we're using sunscreen and we're using you know SPF 30 in our makeup to, to protect our skin. So usually our face is a little bit lighter. So that's why you have to make sure that you're matching with your, your collar, okay? So you just apply it like that. And you can just see it's so beautiful and light, it's so breathable. And just make sure you take it all the way down, okay? I might need to put a bit more actually. Now that's the trouble with brushes. Your brush absorbs a lot of the, the foundation. So I do also like to use my fingers, but, um, but when I am going out and it's a special occasion, the brush just gives it a, that flawless look, yeah? And make sure you go over your eyes your eyelids, because that's effectively your foundation um, or your base for applying eyeshadow. So, you know, just easy. So there is my foundation. Now, what I also like to do is take a, a fluffy brush and buff it just to give it that extra smoothing appearance and make sure you go over your ears under your neck here and just blend it right in in circular motions yeah <laughs> i want the bomb must try it or oh, bomb <laughs> there you go Okay, so that's your foundation done. Now, if you find that you, you still need a bit of coverage under your eyes, you might want to just apply a little bit more of concealer. But for me, also, when you're, you know, getting um, of an older age, you don't want to put too much product under your eyes either because it will um, start to become a bit cakey. So I think I'm okay under the eyes for now. And what I like to do is get your fingers because your fingers have has a lot of warmth, yeah? So you just dab that under there just to make sure that it's gone into your, into your, um, your eye, under your eyes, yeah? And gives it that smoother, smoother look. All right, so now what we want to do is set it. And we set it by our um, uh, transparent, Translucent powder, transparent. Oh my goodness. Um, so what you do, you take your, your brush and I love this translucent powder. It's just so compact. Um, you dab it and you make sure you actually tap it, tap it. So then you don't have too much product on the brush. Otherwise, It'll just be too much on your skin and it'll feel cakey. Yeah, so you will have to make sure that you're not putting too much. So dab it in. You can dab it in like that as well. I, I, I do it. Yeah, dabbing is better because you're actually pushing the product in. Yeah. Okay, so now we've set the foundation and our face is ready to go. Make sure you go under as well. There you go. So now we're ready for our brows. What are we doing? What color foundation are you using? Okay, yeah, there are 15 colors. I am using the neutral beige um, in wintertime. 
neutral breeze. When it's summer, I tend to use the golden beige because I get, you know, a tan and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's why it's important to make sure you are matching um, based on, you know, your what's happening down here as well. Um, so now we're going to do the brows. Now, tonight, I'm going to show you two ways to do your brows. All right. I'm going to show you with, oh, goodness, where'd it go? Um, I'm going to show you with the pencil. Um, and, I don't know, oh, yeah. and I'm going to show you with our tinted uh, brow brush. Now, I'm going to show you a really natural and messy look. And then I'm going to show you a very precise look. Okay, and defined look. So it's all up to you how you'd like to have your, your eyebrows. So I will take the tinted um, eyebrow gel. And in terms of your eyebrows, this is a trick that I, I learned from an amazing makeup artist in our team. Um, and you will work out where to apply or shape your eyebrows. Okay, so what you would do let me just grab my pencil. Um, you go from the tip of the nose to the top of your eyebrow and you make a note, a little thing there. Yeah. Oh my God, that's too much. Anyway, I'm exaggerating it so you can actually see the line. Yeah. And then what you do, you use the guide again and you want to find the tip of your eyebrow because when you find that tip, it gives it the illusion that your eye is a lot higher, yeah, and a lot wider. So you want to bring that arch. You want to find the arch. So you go from the tip of your nose to there. Okay. And then you go from the bottom of the nose to the edge of the eye. See that? Now. You can see that my brow actually doesn't reach that point. So I'm going to have to draw that on just to extend it to actually give it that um, symmetrical look with your eye because you want it to have it looking and aligning to that line there. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you can find the shape of your eye so what we do with this um, brow brush make sure you do remove the excess because it does get it is tinted yeah so you you can accidentally apply too much but don't worry if you do you just remove it it's really easy to remove now the beauty about these they're smudge proof so that will stay on all day okay um so what you do you'd start at the tip there Oh my God, that's a lot. And you just bring it down. Okay. And then you brush it up. I'm just going to remove a bit more. And you go to the top. It's really hard without a proper mirror. Anyway. And you just brush it up. Okay. Um, I think I'm missing a bit. Hang on. I can't really see very well. There we go. I think I got it now. Okay, so what's the great eyebrow demo? <laughs> Thanks, Connie. Um, so then you just grab your little brush and you just brush it. Okay, maybe I've over exaggerated that, but anyway, all good. So that's a, you know, that's a messy look, yeah? And that's using the, the um, tinted 
brush. Now I'm going to go across to the eyebrow pencil. Um, and again, you do the same thing. So you line up your nose to the tip there. Okay. Again, you find the arch. And then you find the edge. Okay. And then what you do, you just, oh, firstly, I have to unbrush my, my eyebrows. Yeah. Oh. And then you just feather it, yeah? And you you make a straight line to get that definition. And you bring it down a little bit to meet that point there. Look, it does take a bit of practice. So, you know, just play around, get used to your eyebrow and the shape. And then once you've, you've done it a few times, it really becomes, you know, second nature. So how can you see how it's a bit more defined here compared to just, you know, that's more of a natural, natural look. Yeah, it just depends on, per, you know, everyone's um, um, preference. So that's eyebrows done. Okay. Now, you know, a, years ago, a lot of people weren't using eyebrows. They never used to accentuate their eyebrows. It's it's been, you know, so long now that people are using it and it's it really just makes your eyes pop. So if you haven't been doing it, give it a go because you'll you'll just notice a massive change in your eyes. All right. So let me know if you do try it to see how what the results are. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go through to contouring. How many of you guys contour? Oh, where's my contour palette? Oh shoot. Wait, hold that, hold that thought. I think my cat has taken my my contour palette. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait one minute. I don't know where my contour palette went. Anyway, okay. You know what? I'm going to do contouring another day. I don't know where my contouring palette has gone. Ruby, did you take my contouring palette? Can you see my girl? She's there somewhere. Anyway, okay. Um, no contouring tonight, girls. I have no idea where it went. Anyway, we will keep going. Um, so now what we want to do is um, our eyes. Now, who can tell me what colors would you use if you have if you've got blue eyes can anyone tell me what you what eyeshadows you would use to accentuate your blue eyes anyone come on guys i'm sure there's a lot of you with blue eyes out there Okay, well, because blue, blue eyes or blue is a cool color, you'd want to use um, you know, warm colors to accentuate the blue. Okay, so your browns and your golds. Um, yeah, that will, will help accentuate your eyes. If you've got brown eyes, though, you would use um, brown shades as well but more of um, you know bronzy gold and, and salmon type colors that will accentuate your eyes. If you've got green eyes, purples and mauves and violets will actually accentuate your eyes. Um, and if you've got really dark, dark eyes, you're pretty much any color because that color, you just, you can use anything. So 
you're pretty lucky. <laughs> um, so tonight, I'm just going to give you a few tricks on how to apply your eyeshadow. Um, and in another tutorial, I'm going to show you a smoky eye look. But tonight, I'm just going to do just a normal day look. Um, but with a bit of a twist. Now, to actually keep your eyeshadow on for longer, let me get my brush. Okay. I have a trick for you. You take your brush and you get your setting spray. Now, does everyone use a setting spray? I haven't been using setting sprays for ages and I started to use it and I'm actually absolutely in love with it. So we've got a refreshing setting spray. Now this has um, amazing botanicals as well. Um, it's got um, all these properties that are very nourishing and moisturizing too. So it's really, really cool. Um, so there's no nasties in, in any of our products anyway. Um, but what you do, you take your brush and it's a fairly flat brush, right? And you spray one spritz of setting spray. Okay. So you spent your, your brush is a bit wet. And with our eyeshadows, I'm using the volume one eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the um, Caraway, that one. And with the wet side of it, I'm going to dab it. And I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. And this actually sets the eyeshadow and it stays in place. That's my hack for tonight, girls. <laughs> so if you don't learn anything more, I reckon that's going to be one that you're going to learn and it's going to stay with you. Um, now, I've got hooded eyes, right? I've got really hooded eyes. When you've got hooded eyes, you want to make sure that you're using a matte eyeshadow around the lid and the crease. Because what happens with the matte eyeshadows, it actually diffuses the light. When you're putting a shimmer there, you're actually accentuating and putting the light there. So that means your eye looks a lot smaller. Okay. So you have to make sure that you are using a matte based eyeshadow. And what the other trick is for a hooded eye normally with just normal eyelids you would just go to the crease yeah so when you open your eye that's that's your crease you would normally just go there but because you've i've got hooded eyes you have to go a little bit over that crease to appear to make the eye appear bigger okay so that's hack number two <laughs> um okay so I've just placed my brownie color on the lid. Now I'm going to do the other one. Um, <clears throat> what you need to do now is do a transition color. And I love to use the, uh, the clove, which is that one there. And that will bring a bit of warmth in my eyeshadow. Okay. And you just apply it just a bit over on top of that other shadow we just applied, okay? And you just bring it down a little bit. Now what you want to do is blend. So you grab, and I love our little concealer brush, and I actually use that to blend. And make sure that you do go to that top there, yeah, all around. Okay, so that's really pretty simple. Nothing more, like you don't want to go too overboard when it's just a day look. Now, what I also like to do is get a little pencil brush or I'm using my angle brush and with the caraway that I put on the lid of the eye I'm putting under here as well 
just to give it that smoky look. But not too much, yeah? Especially when you've got small eyes, you don't want to go all around to the edge of your eye because the more product and the more black you put or any color, it will make the eye smaller. So you want to keep it just to the edge here, just about there, and that will open up the eye, okay? Um, so yeah, so then we just blend a little bit more. Okay. And now we can use our eyeliner. And I just found this out. I forgot all about it, right? Our eyeliners and our lip liners. So Shivani, our lip liners. There's a little sharpener at the bottom of the eye, you know, the, the lip liner or the eyeliner. And that is there to help you sharpen your tip what a cool little thing i just love that that's so cool okay so with your eyeliner another hack is you grab your so can you see your eye tip there what you want to do is just draw a straight line i'm going to do this a little bit just a straight line up because if you don't go up your eye will start to look droopy so what you want to do is give it that illusion that your eye is opened okay and that's why you draw the line upwards okay once you've drawn it upwards you just then from that tip you bring it down Okay, so there, so you can, you know, you can go all around over your eye as well. But you want to make sure that it's thin, it's not too thick, otherwise you start to reduce the look of your eye. I love liquid eyeliner. Uh, that's what I've been used to. But I thought I'd just show you the pencil tonight. <clears throat> um, and when I do, and when I do the um the smoky look, I will bring out the liquid eyeliner. Okay. And again, the eyeliner has to just come. Uh, to the quarter there yeah you don't want to bring the eyeliner all the way there otherwise you will make your eye look smaller and what you'd want to do is join the line from here to the bottom so it's all just joined and together yeah so what i'll quickly do is the other eye <laughs> um so again i take my brush i spritz it with my setting spray i grab my caraway and i apply it on the lid of my eye and again i go a little bit higher on my crease so it appears that my eye is a bit bigger oh ruby you want to play as well she's such a little girl she always comes when I'm doing my makeup, she's a little girl. I love you, baby. Um, and then I use my clove to tr be the transition color. And you can see they're so pigmented. So now you just have to um, blend Blend, blend, blend. Mm. 
Okay. And then I did want to show you um, the de desert. We can put a bit of shimmer on the lid of your eye. Just to make it pop. Yeah. And I like using it with my finger because, again, your finger is so warm that it just applies really nicely. Okay. Ah, and we need to go under. Um, To give it that smokiness but not too much okay and we will put the eyeliner on so again i hate doing this eye it doesn't come the same but anyway you grab it and you just keep lining it up once you found that line that straight line Just bring it back. Oh, that's a bit bigger. Thanks, Nikki. It is very natural. Okay, and then you go under ever so lightly just to open up the eye. Okay, so that's your eyes done. Simple, simple. <laughs> um, and now we're going to apply our mascara. Now, I love our mascara, our speak volumes, very hydrating. It just you know, makes your eyelashes really, really long. Um, and it's good for you. There's no nasties. Now, can anyone tell me why you should not ever, ever share your mascara? Who can tell me? Anyone? No one. Okay, I'll tell you. So your eyelashes, it's a normal thing, yeah? Don't get freaked out. But our eyelashes produces um, mites, yeah? And these little mites, just, you know, they, they're producing on, on your eyelashes. And so when you're applying your mascara, it could actually go onto your brush, yeah? So can you imagine sharing your, your eye? mascara with someone else and then they get them the little mites you know and you you just cross contaminating and that's how you get conjunction itis as well so um so that's why it's really important you don't share your mascara yeah um another fun fact hang on can't concentrate okay and then you the bottom ones. Another fun fact is you shouldn't ever pump your mascara. So you should never, you know, do that. Yeah, you should never pump your mascara because you're actually putting air into your mascara and it dries it out. Okay, so always make sure that you're going around it, you're, you're um, swirling it in order to, to get the product onto your brush, okay? Now you can apply up to three coats if you really want a dramatic, you know, lash. 
and there's your mascara and there are your eyes all complete now what you could also do is you could take if you really wanted to further define the eyebrow which i won't but you could further define the eyebrow by putting a line of concealer under that just to make your eyes pop as well so that's another i'll do that in our um in the other tutorial um but yeah and then now lucky last because i can't find my <laughs> my damn um contouring i will show you my blush so i take my beautiful blossom blush and you make sure because this is so pink pigmented you just dab it on yourself before you put it all over and you smile and you find your little apples and make sure you brush up okay very very lightly oh have i got a bit of in here and that's it guys that's your day look you can use it you can wear it at night as well um it's really natural um but really really effective and oh hang on my lips what the hell <laughs> um hang on i get my lip liner and you apply your lip liner now if you did want fuller lips you would apply just over the lip yeah but not too over exaggerated so just apply it like that Now this color is tulip. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it. Um, and I'm using our Primrose Gloss. I love this. It's so beautiful. It's so, um, you know, pretty. And that's it. Now I'm going to squirt a spray of our um, set spray. And you're done. Pretty much done, guys. So any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Yep, yep. Great, Tina. Bacteria and hy yep, hygienic, unhygienic. Yep, germs. Beautiful. Mites in my eyelashes. <laughs> Shivani, they're not that bad, okay? <laughs> That's why you have to make sure you're cleaning and cleansing your eyes and your eye makeup, yeah? That's why, yeah, cleansing is important. And honestly, try not to wear your makeup at night when you're sleeping make sure you take it off um and i know we get busy and we get tired and stuff but it, try and make it a habit to, to 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 take it off um and yeah so that's pretty much it um i really i'm so happy that you've all joined me tonight it's been a blast um next week we've just released our cherry blossom um palettes and colors so i'm hoping to get those in the next couple of days and i'm hoping to be able to show them to you next week as well um, so yeah so thanks for joining what i'm going to do is look through who's actually commented and who's joined us tonight and i'm going to do a raffle to say thank you for joining and um, if you did want any more information about any of the products i used or any of our range um let me know comment you know dm me and um i can take take you through that as well all righty um so thanks everyone for joining and i'll talk to you guys next week bye